Hello everyone. Let's look at volume weighted average price sin V. D, D stands for daily and that's this uh, plot, white plot, plotted in points on this chart. And uh, we're looking at Euro USD. So this is spot Forex. And as I said, this is volume weighted average price, and anybody who's using TradeStation will know right away that, uh, and if you're trading Forex, you know that there's no volume data provided via TradeStation. Uh, so we don't have volume data, but what we're using is a formula or an algorithm that mimics or is very similar to volume. And to visually give you an idea that what I'm saying is is not a joke I'm not playing a prank uh, let's this is the way to test it out since this volume weighted average price sin V stands for synthetic volume can be used on data instruments that do have volume or not so you can use this on any instrument for example here I have it plotted on ES ES obviously provide we have volume information for ES. Regardless, this indicator will work on it. Um, of course, if you have if you're using charts or symbols that do have volume data, then go ahead and use the normal volume weighted average price that calculates the volume. But what I want to do is show you how similar the two are, and the best way to do that is to give you an example, a visual example. So what I'm going to do is, this is just a regular volume weighted average price. It does calculate, and I'm turning it on, it does calculate using volume data. So the green plot is the normal volume weighted average price calculating volume. The white plot is our volume weighted average price, which is this one here, synthetic volume. As you can see, they are running for example this day it's almost identical here it's identical they do diverge a little bit okay and here there's a little bit of divergence but really for volume weighted average price indicator that's not much of a divergence so it's very very similar I'll just scan back through the chart so you can see so the green again is the one that calculates using volume the white plots the ones that do not you can see it's not a joke it's very very similar so for instruments let's go back to Euro USD instruments that do not provide volume and you want to have this indicator you want to ha be able to use a volume weighted average price then our volume weighted average price synthetic volume and this is the daily plot will work for you now this is just the mean or the volume weighted average price however you can set up uh, standard deviation bands you have access to six of them three below and three above the band three below and three above the volume weighted average price and you can also control the number of standard deviations that you want to use for your bands okay and this is just the color for the volume weighted average price and the color for the bands would be controlled through here now setting up a daily volume weighted average price here to date cutoffs so it's 513 one bar before was 512 as you can see it doesn't reset during the date cutoff it automatically detects the session that you're using if you want to some people with forks will calculate will actually create custom sessions which represents the th three or four different types of for example London time or the London session okay or the US session etc if you create different sessions for those particular time zones to plot your forex data uh, again this indicator will work on there and it will automatically uh, recognize the custom sessions that you're using so the date don't worry about you know the volume weighted average price resetting at the date here's another date cutoff no reset just continues it automatically detects the sessions now since we're this is the daily plot so it begins during the at the beginning of each session and, and ends at the end of the session Let's look at this particular one, and I want to change this so this is a weekly one. I'm quickly going to just change the so it's more visible. This is the weekly plot, and what this does instead of beginning at the 
at the start of each session and ending at the end of that session it actually will begin at the start of each week each trading week and end at the end of the week so this will give you a weekly volume weighted average price so you have one week here one week here another week here another week here and we haven't finished this week yet with this particular indicator what you want to do is if you're using it on Forex obviously the week begins on Sunday so what we've under the input it says day of week I have entered zero and if you just put your pointer on this area it'll say zero equals Sunday one equals Monday depending on the session that you're using you would need to uh, simply either enter zero one two three four depending on so one would be Monday if your charts are showing you that the your data for each week the begins on Monday then you would change that setting to one so you would change this setting to one however the weeks are beginning on Sunday so we have it set to zero so this is a weekly volume weighted average price and we have the W after it so you can see volume weighted average price sin V weekly again you have all the options in terms of the bands I just have them turned off currently that you do with the daily and here I'm going to show you this is the daily plot volume weighted average price daily and I have all the bands on all three on and so you have your standard deviation bands you have one two and three below volume weighted and one two three above it and if we look back this is what it would look like so great little indicator very useful for trading let me show you also the week with the weekly you have the same option of turning the bands on if you'd like so this is your volume weighted average price W stands for weekly and your bands very useful combination of the weekly daily and the end day volume weighted average price can give you a lot of information so I highly recommend taking a look at those if you're a volume weighted average price user and you need it on forex this is great and it will help you a lot and that does it if you guys have any additional questions let us know